Hello there, dear viewer, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jacob Hack. I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And in this episode, we're going to talk about Flux Mini, a multi effect app from Kalem Audio, who also made Smooth, Schlap, and I think it's Tape Cassette. Now, there's not much to explain in this thing, so it's going to be a short video. <laughs> So in the track you just heard, I was using three instances of Flux Mini. Now, two of them are used as, uh, well, I'm simulating side chaining, and I'm doing that on the bass channel and also on the send reverb channel here. And then I'm using one instance of Flux Mini over here to do some weird filter sweeping. It has now become one of those tools that I, well, how do I put it? Well, you know when you make a sound and you love the sound, but you don't love it when you put it into the track because it doesn't fit. Well, I bring in Flux Mini to try to make it fit and it doesn't work all of the time, but sometimes it really does. Flux Mini is such a simple idea, simple and straightforward. And that's all I need sometimes just to get what I want. So Flux Mini is basically a multi-effect that allows you to modulate the um, amplitude or amp output, including a low-pass filter and a high-pass filter. Now the modulation interface is very straightforward. It's basically a drawable envelope and you can pretty much make well, you can do a lot with that envelope. What I want to show you is this simple interface. So everything involved with loading and saving and deleting presets, well, they're over here. And then there are the three effects that you can modulate and you cannot modulate them all at once. You have to choose one and you do that by tapping the corresponding button with the effect name in it. Now, right below the uh, effect selector, you've got three knobs. And one of them is basically setting the rate of the playback of the envelope. The next one sets the resonance, but this one only works for filters for obvious reasons since amplitude doesn't have resonance. And lastly, there's the mix knob between wet and dry signal. There is this um, thing up here where it says MIDI off. If we tap that, we also have something called one shot. And this is pretty sweet because if you connect MIDI to this or a MIDI keyboard, if you set it to one shot mode, then this thing will only trigger when you play a key. So every time you press a key, it will trigger the envelope once. Okay, so the envelope window, it's very straightforward. If you wanna add a node, you double tap. If you wanna remove a node, you double tap on that node. Now, in between the nodes, you'll find this little round circle. And what it allows you to do is to shape the slope of the envelope, which is so very nice. And you can really draw some wild stuff in here. Now, if you look closely, you can see that there's a grid in here and you do have a button for snapping to this grid, making it very easy for you to build these complex rhythmic patterns that follows the beat. And next to that button, you have a visualization on or off. And when you turn this off, you don't see the audio coming into Flux anymore. And this is how straightforward this plugin is. If you haven't gotten this yet, go and get it. And you know what? If you go get it and you don't have any of Kalem Audio's other apps, buy one of them. 
just support this developer. And for those of you who are interested, I do have a second channel where I live stream only on Wednesdays, on the same time on Wednesdays. Here on the main channel, I make highly produced material, okay? So I, I put a lot of effort and time into making a show, basically, and a lot of time into research and stuff. The live streaming channel is something completely different. You know, I'm having a hard time keeping track of all the new stuff going on in the world right now and all the new sins. And basically, I rely on people like yourself to tell me about all the new stuff because I, I simply can't. I can't uh, keep track of it. I just disappear for a week because I'm basically... It stays there. It, it, it's supposed to be the opposite of this. It's a place where we get to hang out and have fun, talk about whatever we want. And I've recently started doing this thing where I let you, the viewers, decide the topic by voting in a poll. So you are deciding what we are talking about during a whole live stream. I live stream on Wednesdays and the link to my second channel is down below. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.